Uh, hello and welcome back. My name's Callum from DX Commander. Now, a number of people want to, they want to know what uh, software I use on the, my live streams, and it's N1MM. So a lot of people kind of want to replicate that. They go, oh, well, what do I do? How do I do it? How does it work? And that sort of thing. So there's one thing, obviously, we need to download N1MM. And it's very easy if you just type N1MM. It's a call sign of a fellow called Tom. He was the original programmer for that. It's free software. Downloads program files. You download the full install. Don't do anything yet. And then you go to the latest updates. Right? That's important. Click that and download that as well. Run the full install, then you run the update. Good, it's just important you know that. Okay, we've done that, all right? I'd already done that earlier. So let's run N1MM Logger, it's an app. The first thing you're gonna see, I mean, it happens to know that I am M0MCX, it's gonna prompt you at this point in time to go to configure, change your station data. All right, so this is where you put your call sign in. Put either your latitude or longitude or grid square. That's important because it will give you bearings and things like that. So that's fine, we've done that, okay. Now, when you watch me on my live stream, I've got a screen that looks completely different to this. OCQ IOTA, Mike Zero, Mike Charlie X-Ray. I think the first thing we should do is connect our radio. Now, I don't have a radio in front of me, but we'll pretend. Configure. Ports, mode, control, things like this. And here we are, you select your radio. Uh, sorry, radio. And almost every radio you've got, all right? All the Kenwoods, the Yesus, and everything. If not, there'll be a plug and play. If it's a weird radio, it's normally like got the Icom control set or the Kenwood or the Yesu control set. So we do that, select the port, hit the set, but well, we'll do it. We'll do uh, a Kenwood um, 990 on COM3, whatever else, then you hit the set button and then you specify the normal stuff. Go to the menu on the uh, on the radio for your COM speed and that sort of thing. Replicate it on here, hit OK. Now it's gonna fail with me, so I won't bother doing it. Uh, as soon as you hit OK, you'll hear a couple of clicks, a couple of relays going on. So I'm now gonna show you the toys, all right, before we get into any logging at all. So the window has got the toys on it. So we want the band map, all right? And there's our band. Well, I've got two band maps, I've got two VFOs, but normally I only show one on my live stream. And you can either twiddle your radio VFO and this will automatically move up and down. Right. Or you can just type a frequency. If somebody says, I'll meet you on 21228, go 21228, enter. And you'll notice on the band map here, it's changed. So it's great instead of using the buttons on the, the radio. You've got another radio by the side of you, 145500. Do that, you're now on VHF. Uh, 1429. 987, oh, that's not wrong, <laughs> 14287. I was out of band, right, that's done. So you see me with the band map. You also see me with a log file, you know, above me. So we've got the log and there it is there. There shouldn't be anything in it at all because I deleted what was in there earlier on as a log file. Uh, we've got some other to toys and we've got, um, we'll do check in a minute, digital interface, entry window, the gray line. That is completely resizable. You can go this way, you can make it stretch and fit and do all sorts of things. Just quite handy if you're in a, you know, in the middle of a contest or you're operating, you go, oh, what's the, is it nearly dusk yet? Um, and then we have the info window, which is quite important for me anyway. This will tell you if you're connected to the cluster, if somebody spots you. And I'll find a screenshot of that happening to me on one of my Friday mornings. M zero M C X contest. Okay, so far so good. I'm going to give you a couple of other little things. We've got the uh, check window. What is the check window? 
The check with those is if you, as you type, start typing something, M zero A A question mark. There we are. It's and you can put the question mark in it because you don't hear the end of the call sign. And in super check partial, which has already been downloaded by Magic, it's saying, well, it could either be A A C, but in the last twelve months we've also heard an A A A portable. So which one is it? You could just click. Oh, it's definitely Charlie. It's that one there. And then space bar, and you can type whatever you want to type in. Basic super chat parcel, it's an independent third party. We can go to tools, download and install the latest check partial file from the internet. Because what is that? Super check partial is every contest call. If you've entered a contest once and you put you called one person, chances are you ended up in super check partial. So what it means is as you start typing my call sign, M0, MC, question mark, it could be MCX or MCV. Both of us have entered a contest in the last 12 months. There we go. Right, now then, are we going to just use this for general logging or we gonna got a, we got a contest? Because if I get my little book out, how this is designed is that we have a big database which obviously goes on forever. And in slices, we've got all your different contests. So if you're just using general DX logging, you put all your regular logs in there. If you enter CQ worldwide, um, that will go, that will go there and so on and so on. How do you fire up a new log for your window? Well, it goes like this. File, new log in database. Now I've already got a few in here, but I'm going to select DX, single operator, it doesn't matter about all this. There's no sent exchange, but soapbox, and this is my test video database, just to remind me. Okay, because the next time I go and open it, if I click on these, click on that one, it's remind me it's my test video database. That's all. I've entered a few here in the past. Okay, so let's just, uh, we're dialing around and we're still on, uh, it says it here, 14287. We hear Lee, G0MTN. And we go, hello, Lee, how are you doing? Nice to meet you again. He's got his new tower up or whatever else. We can have a chat. I'll give him a 5-9. Then Tom calls him. Now, Lee was in red because in a contest, red means um, new country, new multiplier, new everything. Watch if I do Tom now, M0RMY. He's just gone blue because we've already had that country before. And he's called Tom and he's got a new thing, whatever. And then um, um, we're dialing around a bit further, 14299. Uh, we're swizzling around and we hear Mike M zero M S N. There's Mike and he's got a new toy as well. And then we go to 80 meter band three, seven, five, seven, if you like, or well, now we're 80 meters. No, my goodness. We come across Lee again and you notice he's pulled him in already knows he's Lee. Look, so oh, that's fine. Then comment. Uh, he was testing and I gave him. I don't know. I gave him, um, I sent uh, five and seven because he was a bit scratchy. And sure enough, I was a bit scratchy too. He gave me five and six, let's say. So you can see as you go through this database here, this is what's going on at the top. That's what we've actually logged. And down here are the times that you, you and dates that you've actually logged this person. So if I now change frequency, I spin my dial and I'm now at three, seven, four, one. Uh, and I hear Tom now, M0RMY, spacebar. He's really strong. Tom, good on 80 meters today, whatever. And hit return. And I've left him on the band map. Do you see that? And he's grayed out. That means we've already had him before. I can click Lee, and that would reach you my radio, and we can see how Lee's getting on. All right, click Tom again, and he's back to there. So if I now go to 7157, on the 40 meter band, as I start typing M zero R, it's going, I wonder if you want to speak to one of these guys, R M. And in our log here on the, on the, uh, on the 
Super Chat Partial, it's looked up our log and it's saying, chances are this is going to be RMY, isn't it? Well, it is. So hit space bar and there's Tom again. Right, so that's for DX operating. But let's say now we've got, we want to new log. So that's this bit here. Well, another one of these bits, new log in the database. And we've got CQ Worldwide turning up. Uh, it's in alphabetical order, CQ Worldwide, CQ Worldwide SSB. There it is there. And I'm single operator, all band, say low power, 100 watts, SSB, overlay i'm over 50 <laughs> i'm allowed to there might be a certificate for that uh, are you assisted or non-assisted and by the way they they can work it out i know i like to go assisted because we'll be using the cluster and i'm going to show you that in a minute my scent exchange is going to be 5914 because 14 is the cq zone oh, i can't remember but anyway i just happen to know it's that hit okay uh, cq zone isn't it so i'll go back up to 14 Two, three, five, ooh, two, five, five, four, two, three, five. I think that's uh, SSTV, I can't remember. So there I am sitting there, but I want to call CQ now. So uh, I hit the run button because I don't want to leave all these gr all this gray stuff knocking around. So the, the run stuff does that. Now, a video for another day. And if there's enough comments below, I will do this for you, but you can actually hit these buttons and it will act. You can record your voice and actually do CQ. Hello, Mike Zero, Mike Charlie X-Ray. That went, that can literally send you, send them. Um, <laughs> you can actually record all the letters and numbers. So if Lee calls in G zero MTN, you can actually go, hello, G zero MTN. You are <laughs> five and nine <laughs> CQ zone one, four, 14 over <laughs> it's a really good laugh by the way uh lee's come up um in green why is that what happens if we called roly zl1bqd he calls in next he's green too and he's 30 he's chat he's and that's because it's a new country now i'm going to show you a couple of things now because we've logged those people on a red in the database and we can see because it's a, the type of contest it is all right it's logging things like um zones prefixes excuse me and all sorts of stuff but we've got another tool we can use window telnet so this is the cluster okay this is your this is your front end to the cluster and uh, now clusters i happen to be about to connecting to GB7 DJK and using that call sign. Now you can automatically log, in, log on, but I've intentionally left it so I can do it this way. So I'm gonna reconnect to this cluster. All right, here we go. Right, now what I need to do is it's expecting my call sign to come through. So I'll, I'll click M0 MCX. Hello, Callum. If I was never been on, um, a cluster before ever you come up with a couple of prompts and uh, like what's your name and stuff and you type that in here all right that's your entry window so we're on the cluster by the way it's saying the sfi is oops uh 101 and the k index is uh, one so it's actually uh, shouldn't be too bad for a bit of dx today who knows a uh, couple of things we can do with this we can hit the show dx button and that'll do us the well, it says the command S8, just up above it, it's saying sh slash dx slash 120. So we can either type that in here, but that's going to do it for us. And that will give us the last 120 spots coming through. And you can see that some of these are red and some of these are green. So the green one, if I could just click him, hit the space bar, that's telling me he's zone 18. And there's a red one there. What does that mean? That means, oh. We've already we've already had CQ zone 14. Lee Lee was that, but um, but it's a new country, so he's red. So green ones are really handy. That's K1 E S E. That my radio will have retuned when I click that and hit the space bar, and it's ready for me to give him my exchange. What else can you do? Well, a ton of stuff. If now that we're connected to the internet, it will say a few things up the top here and occasionally you'll get some space weather reports coming through, knocking through in here as well. But if somebody spots us, 
it'll actually come out on there like i said before because now we're now connected to the internet right so once you've done all that you're no doubt going to be really you know the sort of guy you want to move everything around and make it all pretty and once you've made it all pretty and you've got it just as you, as you like it you can save your window positions with i think it's tools save window positions and there it is out w because i want to wipe that one and control o if you've got someone else who comes along and say can i operate your station you might want to just log what he does so tom comes in r m r m y and he starts operating but he doesn't like the way all this is he wants to put that over there um this log's too big he wants to put oops he wants to put this i'm gonna sneeze <coughs> So he moves everything around and he can save his window position just how he likes it like that tools save window positions and then you come back back on operator m0 mcx and all my windows will go back to how i like them and uh, something went wrong there that was my fault uh okay so that's vfoa over here on our left but if you've got a two oh that's uh there it is there if you've got a two vfo radio you can have let's just move this up here move the gray line down there you could have two vfos one there and one there and you could either even sorry fire up another band map and there it is on the right and then you you'll be faffing around i can guarantee it for the next ages getting your windows all nice uh, so you can see that band map there so on on here we can be on 7150 on your left vfo and your right vfo can be on 21287 whatever else and you can see there's both going on and uh, there's some activity looks like on ft8 down there um what about 14250 on that vfo so you can see with a two VFO radio, you're fine. I think there's, yes, the slash button next to the shift uh, swaps between VFOs. Now, actually, your radio, we're doing stuff as well. You can do a ton of stuff. This is to get you going, all right? So you type your call sign in, hit the space bar, M0, RMY, space bar. We haven't had Tom in this contest before, right? We've had it before, remember? In the last log but not in this log g0 mtn we've had before uh, he's green he's a new band all right new country great and we can we can log lee on that one before oh yes we logged because we're on 40 meters here we logged in there of course if zl1 bqd comes along we can log him too because we're on 40 meters there but if we logged him here zl1bqd it will say oh it's a duplicate are you sure you want to log in by the way i if somebody calls me i just log them right long story why you log a duplicate but i'm not going to get into that now it gives you other information like roly is eighteen thousand kilometers away and we've got short path and long path stuff and what's going on hopefully that's given you enough to go oh what does this bit do what does that bit do you've got rotator control and all sorts of stuff in here so that's why people go on and on and on about n1mm by the way when you've finished what you can do is file and you can generate your cabrillo file why it's called cabrillo i don't know was there a mr cabrillo <laughs> who knows so you hit okay your category is this are you sure yes uh -huh. you could log that and then you can view the file export is complete oh yes there it is there was that right oh no i was I, I was unassisted not assisted i forgot i don't want to apply with that one there that's fine and then it's going to say do you want to submit your cabrillo file to super check partial all right and that just keeps the whole super check partial world up to date as well which is independent of n1mm we're not going to do that because it's uh, well we, we're not going to so there we are a little whiz bang tour you can spend ages mucking around and learning more about it my job today is to give you some inspiration 
all right so that's the reason by the way i'm making another video as i make this video about how i make a video which is one of one of the reasons i've just fired this little camera up here so i can run the tail end of it all right so that's it from now next video is coming up here have i earned a little comments maybe or a thumbs up i'll let you decide if you want to subscribe that's up to you from Callum here in the bunker, all the best. I'll see you, see you on the air. All right, all the best now. Bye for now. Very good.